I think uh, momentous. India is also going to be, I think, the first country in the world to uh, go to the South Pole of the Moon, if I'm correct. Will India create history today or not? Yes, I am speaking about Chandrayaan 3. Friends, today we know what is in Manipal, what is in Chandrayaan 3, and what arrangements have been made, how motivation of the student crowd is. We know all of this in this video. So let's start our video. Hello friends, my name is Sanjay Kumar. I am Chandrayaan 3 and this चंद्रयान थ्री चंद्रयान थ्री को जुलाई 14, 2023 ट्वेंटी को हमारे भारत के खुले आसमान में देश का नाम रोशन उस स्पेस के इन्फिनेट जोन में करने के लिए भेजा गया था एंड इट इज़ एक्सपेक्टेड ऑन अगस्त 23 इट विल बी लैंडेड स्मूथली द डे इज फाइनली हियर सो मेनी हार्ट्स एक्साइटेड टू सी दिस हिस्टोरिक इवेंट एंड सो मेनी ब्रेन टॉयलिंग फॉर द कंट्री टू सी दैट सक्सेसफुल इवेंट हैपनिंग ऑन द सरफेस ऑफ द मून टूडे तो आज हम जानते हैं कैसा है स्टूडेंट का क्राउड मणिपाल में स्पीकिंग अबाउट स्पेस एंड टेक्नोलॉजी स्पेसिफिकली एंड इसरो के बारे में कितना फैसिनेटिंग है स्पीकिंग अबाउट मणिपाल एंड स्पेस तो दोस्तों मणिपाल में दो मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट स्टूडेंट प्रोजेक्ट्स हैं जिनका नाम है परीक्षित एंड मार्स रोवर मणिपाल दोस्तों परीक्षित टू में स्टेब्लिश किया गया था टू डेवलप द एटमोसफियर ऑफ स्पेस इन मणिपाल इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी एंड मेक मणिपाल इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी अ सेंटर फॉर स्पेस रिसर्च ये इन्होंने अपना खुद का एक सैटेलाइट बनाया था दैट वेड ऑलमोस्ट अबाउट वन टू टेन के ऑफ वेट सेकेंड मार्स रोवर मणिपाल दोस्तों मार्स रोवर मणिपाल एक मोस्ट सिग्निफिकेंट यूनिट है जो स्टूडेंट प्रोजेक्ट है जो मार्स रोवर्स पे काम करता है एंड इन्होंने बहुत सारे प्राइजेस जीते हैं इन दोनों क्लब्स के जो वेबसाइट्स के लिंक है वो डिस्क्रिप्शन में दिया हुआ है आप उसको चेक कर सकते हो दोस्तों अगर आप अपना स्किल को भी एक्स्ट्रॉडिनरी इम्पैक्ट करना चाहते हो और डेवलप करना चाहते हो तो यू हैव द ऑप्शन फ्रॉम मिलेन ट्रैक आपको वो प्रोवाइड करते हैं कोर्सेज लाइक कैनवा एडोबी प्रो एडोबी एडिटिंग स्टॉक मार्केट्स पाइथन एंड बहुत सारे कोर्सेज विद एफोर्डेबल प्राइजेस एंड दोस्तों इसके साथ आपको एक और बोनस मिलता है अगर आपने अभी लिया तो यू गेट एफिलेटेड लिंक थ्रू विच यू कैन अर्न मोर देन फिफ्टी के पर मंथ आफ्टर यू मास्टर ऑल ऑफ द स्किल्स इन विच एवर पेस यू वॉन्ट ये लाइफ टाइम एक्सेस आपको मिलता है डू चेक दिस आउट लिंक डिस्क्रिप्शन में है एंड स्टार्ट बिल्डिंग योर स्किल राइट नाउ
इसरो के चंद्रयान थ्री ने फाइनली सॉफ्ट लैंडिंग कर ली वी आर वेरी प्राउड ऑफ यू इसरो भारत वासी होने का बहुत ज्यादा गर्व है हमें अब हम पूछते हैं हमारे कुछ स्टूडेंट से कि व्हाट दे फील अबाउट चंद्रयान थ्री सॉफ्ट लैंडिंग व्हाट थिंग ऑफ स्पेस फैसिनेट्स यू द मिस्ट्रीज द मिस्ट्रीज व्हिच इट हैज ओके या दे आर लाइक द टिपिकल माइंड अप ऑफ गैलेक्सीज एंड ऑल ऑफ द मिस्ट्रीज देयर स्पेसेस फिल्ड विद मिस्ट्रीज ओके दैट्स ग्रेट दैट्स ग्रेट द सेकंड क्वेश्चन इज इफ यू गेट अ चांस टू वर्क फॉर स्पेस uh what step would you take initially uh definitely if i have to work in an aeronautical section i'll go with this so i don't have much knowledge about it but yeah thank you thank you mr thank you what do you feel about andre and no no we just working yeah yeah we are uh, now we modi has to say we are in uh, दक्षिण ध्रुव यस 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 फ्रॉम इसरो जय इसरो जय इसरो थैंक यू थैंक यू एक्सक्यूज मी गाइस डू यू माइंड इफ आई आस्क यू अ क्वेश्चन सो व्हाट डू यू फील अबाउट इसरो नाउ सो आई थिंक नाउ दैट इसरो हैज हैज लैंडेड दिस चंद्रयान 3 आई थिंक ऑल द साइंटिस्ट्स ऑफ इसरो गेट अ मोरल बूस्ट एंड विल डेफिनेटली हेल्प इन द फ्यूचर मिशन व्हाट इज द मोस्ट इंपोर्टेंट थिंग लाइक दैट माइंड ब्लोस योर माइंड व्हेन यू थिंक अबाउट स्पेस ब्लैक होल्स Black holes. You can uh, elaborate on that. Yeah, because we really don't know what those things are, right? We need to learn so much about them, and we know so little about them. The recent images of black hole have been coming in the very recent years, and we need to learn more about them. So I am very intrigued by that. Thank you so much. By the way, what's your name? Karthik. How do you feel about space now after the landing of Chandrayaan three? Okay, this was a very exciting moment, especially when after the landing was there, when he announced that. India has achieved soft landing on the moon. I literally got goosebumps. It was like it's an amazing thing, like, and that to India competing with such big superpowers, India being a superpower itself, and with such minimalistic things, we are competing with them, and it's fascinating. Space is space exploration is a fascinating thing. There's always something new out there to explore. It's it's a very good thought about this. So he already mentioned fascinating thing. So what fascinates you so much about space? Yes, about space. The fact that it is ever expanding. There's oh. so much out there. It's the Big Bang was an explosion. Yes. And it is still expanding to this day. While it is very fascinating, it is also very scary because we don't know what is out there or what isn't out there. Great thoughts. What's your name? Lux. Lux. Okay. So, ma'am, what do you feel after the successful touchdown of Chandrayaan three? Um, it's a moment of pride for all Indians, and just like every Indian, vouching for Israel's success, I think uh, momentous. Uh, what learning can a student take from this uh, historic movement? I think it's perseverance. dedication and um, love for their craft so i think it's very important to have the those three features you need to be isro is a very committed motivated organization and uh, when modi ji announced that he would be touching the moon that was our objective today we uh, we see it as a goal yes. so i guess that for mm-hmm. me when we aim for something we work for it thank you so and much ma'am now like he said we never going to say we can't touch the moon we are now on the moon yes ma'am yes this was punima ma'am our associate director of uh, student welfare excuse me guys excuse me excuse me what thing of space fascinates you the most what okay yeah. planet Yes, sir. Exoplanets. Yeah. Elaborate on that if you can. We really need to search up for exoplanets. We are on the way searching exoplanets. What else? Supernovas. Okay. okay. Like it's amazing in the star bursts. And where does the energy go? Like black holes are created. Everything is just a fascinating topic that we need to research about. Uh, what do you feel about this movement in MIT when you see Chandrayaan? Like vibe of MIT about Chandrayaan three. It's very exciting. Like all these projects that do, doesn't go recognized, they are rec- getting recognized, streaming live with all the students is really amazing. Proud moment, honestly, proud moment. Thank you. Thank you. Saint uh, Sanya. Thank you. Thanks, man. Purav. Thank you. What do you feel about space, ISRO specifically, after the smooth touchdown of Chandrayaan three? I mean, actually, it's a, you know very lighted moment for all of us being Indians, and actually, I guess it's a proud moment for India and a uh, lot of it is to become. 
I guess the funds has to be raised by the government because uh, in the Apollo 11, it took only four days for the rover to you know actually get to the moon, and it took 40 days for India to get there in 2023. And Apollo 11 was back then there. So you know, technology is lacking, but yeah, that's up to that good. Yeah, definitely. And the second question is, what about space fascinates fascinates you the most? Uh, I'm quite interested in quantum physics. You know, all those wormholes. Uh, I know that's a uh, fiction till this date. So time traveling and all that. Yeah, so, yeah. yeah. That's yeah, what fascinates me a lot. So thank you for uh, your cooperation. What's your name? Um, Sushmita. Sushmita. Can I ask you a question? What do you feel after the smooth touchdown of Chandrayaan three? Bro, everybody was screaming. And there was like a firecracker. I was like, no, I don't like firecrackers. But yeah, it was like the vibe. I thought maybe it, it will be boring, but it was like cool. That's great. Uh, if you ever get a chance to serve in the space industry, what would you like to do? See, I'm in data science department, so I think that will be really good for me. But that will be kind of. Uh, if I ask uh, what thing of space fascinates you, what would be your answer for that? Everything about space, like right from every component of what we build and the data we collect from the space, everything is really good. Fascinating. That's great. That's great. Uh, what's your name? Shristi. Shristi. Thank you. These are the students and seniors from uh, different student projects, as I mentioned, Parikshit uh, and Project Kalpana. So, so, what you guys presently feel about Chandrayaan or uh, India, ISRO, specifically ISRO, at this present movement after the smooth touchdown? I think it's a big moment for the entire industry as a whole because India has finally touched down on the moon with a rover and now we can start collecting data samples. It's, India is also going to be, I think, the first country in the world to uh, go to the south pole of the moon if I'm correct and uh, so it's just a big moment for all of us in general and it's a massive motivation for every single person who ever, who's ever dreamt of working in the field at all. So he covered the technical side mostly what I would like to say is uh, for the first time in my life I've seen so many people come around together for something that is space related I'm not even kidding I have goosebumps right here uh, this was one of the best moments of my life because I remember looking at Chandrayaan 2 from my sofa with my nani at night and getting so sad that it did not land. And right now with all of my batchmates and friends and our professors, it was a very great one for India all over. Second question would be, what is that thing that fascinates you about science, that blows your mind? Uh, I think science is a massive field in yeah. general, but aerospace specifically is uh, what drew me towards it was creative problem solving, but with like technical boundaries attached to it, which is just an a another layer on top of any kind of design work whatsoever. So I just love that side effect. Fair enough. Uh, what I like about space and science is that it makes me feel extremely small. Uh, for example, hum log idhar khade, aerospace industry is basically us trying to go out into space, right? We don't realize how big space is and maybe that is what drives me towards it. Uh, guys, can you, can you just give an introduction of your particular club uh, student projects that you are in to the audience? Right, so Parikshit, as a student project, we're working on a satellite that we're thinking is going to go up over the next year, the next semester most probably. And it's a 2U class and a satellite, which means it's 22 centimeters by 10 by 10. And we have two payloads on our satellite. One is a thermal imaging camera, which we can use to capture thermal data of the Indian subcontinent. And the second is an electrodynamic tether, which is a novel payload, which is going to be used to passively deorbit the satellite, which is obviously something that all of us need to do because of space junk that's being created on a daily basis. So, uh, Project Kalpana is a very newly opened student project that we've opened up. Uh, we are the only uh, radio based, radio astronomy based student project in Manipal right now. Uh, we're planning to make a radio telescope and for starters we're gonna uh, get radio emissions for Jupiter and work on those data sets for you. It's nice, for my, nice meeting you. What's your name? My name is Manas. Manas. Nice Hi. meeting you. I'm Arnav. I'm Arnav. Yeah, guys, it was nice me uh, talking to them. Uh, so it was a very good experience. We are proud of uh, ISRO. So, those are if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please subscribe to the channel. And if you enjoy this video, do give a thumbs up and share it in all of your groups. And finally, proud to be an Indian. We'll see you in the next video. This is Saksha Shetty from MIT Manipal. Bye bye.